Hello and welcome to Simvoli and the brand new update that we've introduced for the booking. So, so many different changes have been added and I will show you all these things. I'm Stan and let me show you this amazing new changes that we did. So, when we click to the booking now, we'll see there is a lot of new things. So, the group, the group uh, booking and appointments is the biggest thing that we've introduced. It's basically the ability to create uh, events that can multiple people can join at the same time frame. So let's create a new event here and let me show you how easy it is. Let's go with group event. Let's say uh, we can add some more information about the event, of course, like a normal one. And let's go to the next one. Where is the operators? Let's just add one operator for the sake of the example, Stan, and go to the next step. Now here we introduce this option, the booking type. The default one, as before, was one-on-one, -on -one, which is the most common ones, but you can have a group one. A group one is where you can have more than one person to join this meeting. This is, for example, if you're doing some kind of an event, uh, like a webinar or, you know, in person, in, in maybe even a concert or something like that, where people can schedule, uh, you, know, a, you know, join this event. So you can add how many attendees that event can have. Let's say 20 people is the maximum. And you can determine how long is the duration of this event. For the sake of the example, let's set it up at 60 minutes. So just like that, this is it. It's very simple as you can see how we can set up an event. Now, we have introduced a few other cool things such as the increments. So this is the ability to have to select, uh, you know, what are the increments when somebody picks a time frame. So by default, it will be 30 minutes, but you can set it up at whatever you wish. Also, you have the availability here uh, where if you don't want people to uh, you know, book very closely to, your, uh, to the current time, maybe uh, at least a few hour notice before the booking of an event, you can do it from here. So you can set up uh, so people don't uh, prevent from last minute booking of, a, of, a, of an event, of an appointment. So you can do it from here. The buffer is, of course, uh, if you don't want to have back-to-back, -back, um, you know, appointments, you can have them into, you know, have different buffers, however you want to set it up so that it's not back-to-back. -back. And also we have the limit of the number of sessions you can have for this operator for the day. So you can have, let's say, five maximum, so no more than five booking appointments can be, you know, scheduled for this particular day so you can set it up from here if you wish it's optional of course and uh, yeah the other things are obviously the same ones which is forms uh, which you want to ask confirmation and let's just create our first group event and that's it we created our group event and let's go and test it out so now if we go into our widget we can double click and from here we can select our group event that we just created so this is it we can click on save and let's test it out. Now, as you can see, we have you know, our widget with the, with the calendar and this is the new view when you have a group event. So the group events, they show how many slots are available. Of course, probably you will not have back-to-back -back group events like this, but uh, yeah, this is for the sake of the example. And let's select a, let's say, say nine on the 20, 22nd add some information here and book an event. Now, if we refresh this page and see again the calendar, you see that for uh, on the second sec uh, 22nd, for the 9 uh, a.m., we have 19 slots left because we already booked one. So 19 are now available and another person can schedule another event. So let's uh, do it with maybe with standard simply and, you know, submit again. Now, if we preview again, we'll see that it is at 18. So it will reduce with every booking. Now, if we go into our bookings, into the schedule, you actually see the events for today. And if we click here, we'll see all the people who actually submitted, you know, their application, well, their booking, um, you know, re request. So you see this in this table format. So if you have other questions that you ask them, they will be listed all here. So you have all the data here stored. So don't worry. And you can easily access each profile by clicking on the link as well. So this is it. And you might be wondering, what is this red, you know, different circles here? We actually introduced cover coding. This is a really cool way to distinguish which operator actually has this specific event. So in the operators now into the settings, 
you can now set up a cover for this operator and it will actually indicate here as well this uh, icons they will indicate what is the color of this of this user so let's say simon is a red one so just like that you can set up the color and you can easily distinguish in the uh, area here who is the actual operator without having to click and just like that we've created our first uh, group event and two people have already booked for it so you can do it the same way for the services. You can do a group service again by selecting a group meeting with how many attendees there will be. And now we introduce also the tax. The tax is really simple. Basically, whenever somebody books uh, this specific service that we just created, they'll be tagged with this tag. And yeah, it's easy for distinguishing people who have booked for a specific service so that you can then separate them by a service. And we actually introduced one more feature, which is really cool as well. This is for multiple operators. And if you have multiple operators and you don't want people to actually select from the operators, uh, but you want to be, you know, separated to be, uh, you know, assigned automatically, this is the basically the round robin assign of operators automatically. And it is a checkbox here when you have more than one operator that you can click and that's it actually it will distribute evenly between the different operators and uh, yeah you'll not be asked to select an operator if you click on save changes now if we go to the builder we can test it out if we go here we can change to our first event click on save changes and now we see the services as the two operators had services which were you know um, covering uh, themselves so now if we select the service you see that we were not asked to select an operator because that was already selected for us so now we can select the day and schedule uh, a time and that's it we just booked a meeting it will be auto assigned to one of the operators who was available and yeah in the schedule you see that as we can see it's the orange person where as actually the orange operator was assigned for that booking so this is it very cool updates obviously uh in a summary it's the ability to create you know uh, to have round robin for auto assign to have the availability uh to have group meetings with certain amount of attendees really cool way to have group meetings uh, the increments the you know prevents last smoking uh, last minute bookings with the schedule notice the buffer between the different appointments the limit of sessions per day is also available so this with the cover coding and a few other things i think it's a great great addition for the booking so that you can build any type of booking that you want i hope that you enjoyed and please let us know in the comments what do you think how do you enjoy these new features and what else you would like to see thank you